Dorsty, the deaf man, was a brutal, vicious soul With a gaping maw and bloody claws, he's a horror long untold For Stee, the deaf man, just a campfire tale they'd say But he stalks through snow and by the time they'd know it would already be too late Hello, I am Bookface. My throat hurts. And today we're talking about even more Bigfoot. Except these are the cooler Bigfoot because they live in the snow, like the Yeti. But not the actual Yeti because I've already talked about him in a video. Boy, it would have been good if I thought ahead with that. But whatever, I'm stupid. And another little heads up because, you know, even though Bigfoot is, oh yeah, everyone knows Bigfoot, there are like hundreds of names for Bigfoot, if not thousands. And we're getting to some that you probably aren't gonna recognize. Chances are. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, be, be ready for that. Well, now that we got that out of the way, let's jump right in. <laughs> Welcome to Bigfoot Fight Night. Our first hairy hominid reigns from Siberia, having a heavy build and standing about six and a half feet tall. It's the Chuchunya! Recognized by their large dark face and protruding brow, it has long arms, broad shoulders, and a skinny body. The perfect form to destroy in the ring. They typically make a lot. Blech. They typically make whistling noise, so that very well may be the last thing you ever hear. This fighter needs their protein to stay ripped. Because of that, they just straight up eat reindeer and goats. Suck on that one, Santa. Even though they are typically docile, they have been known to become aggressive occasionally. It's that fighting instinct. They also occasionally go to popular areas and steal food for that extra protein we mentioned before. Gotta get those gains. They have also been known to wear deer skins as clothes and use primitive weapons. They're lean, they're mean, but they still maintain, m maintain, but they still maintain their modesty. When unarmed though, they typically resort to throwing rocks. Usually a yellow card, but know this, this is a Bigfoot, so it counts as understandable. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Some believe this creature can be explained as a surviving remnant of the Neanderthals, or Homo Neanderthalensis. But what's this? A new challenger enters the ring. Raining from Alaska, living in the woods near Lake Ilamina, standing anywhere from 6 to 10 feet tall. Usually we have better insight. Say hello to the Urayuni. Their name means Harry Man. So you know this thing stays toasty. I it right back. And with long, shaggy, reddish brown fur, it's not hard to see how. Ugh. They have no visible neck and incredibly long arms. Can't headlock someone without a neck. And look at that reach. Nobody can touch the long boys, that's what I always say. They'll slap you before you even enter the ring. That's usually a red card, but this is Bigfoot, so anything goes. They are also thought to be peaceful, aside from raiding camps and stealing food. As scary as they may be, the Uyuruli is a gentle guy. Does this kind of invalidate my entire bit? Perhaps! But bring that up again, and you'll get hit with the chair! Local myths of the creature say that it takes lost children and turns them into Uyuruli as well. Caring creature or child kidnapper? Next on Mori. Who is the Bigfoot's baby daddy? Next, next on Mori. And here comes our final contestant, reigning from Russia and Western Siberia. Getting more specific here. Standing at six to seven feet tall, it's the Mechani. This name is Mansi, or Marked, referring to their signature white left forearm. It's a very specific signature. But it's very recognizable. Having a round head, glowing red eyes, and short hair on the face. This is one spooky looking boy. I would not want to fight such a spooky looking boy. Undertaker? Nah, it's the big foot taker. Yep, <laughs> much like the fellow fighters, they have reddish brown hair, no neck, and wide shoulders. You have a neck, get out of here. Oh, that disqualifies you from the ring. No necks, no gains. All protein. When this squat calls, it sounds like clearing its throat. Like I'm gonna have to do after recording this video. This is how you know that your doom is near. To show how truly evil these creatures are to terrify their opponents, they also don't like dogs. How dare they? They are also known to knock on windows. As scary as they may be, they'd love to say hi. Don't be rude or they'll be sad. 
They may also rip your arms off, but you know what? We care about manners in this ring. And there we have Bigfoot Fight Night. I'm going to get a mint because my voice is in pain. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe, and pray for my throat because it hurts so much. Goodbye! I will see you next time for Bigfoot Fight Night!